Now, this Sunday evening, South Africa's foodies, top restaurateurs and criti critiques uh, will meet to celebrate the best that the industry has to offer. And, of course, it is the foodie event of the year to be lavishly staged at the Mystico Equestrian Centre in Paul, where the country's best restaurant will be revealed. It is, of course, the Eat Out Mercedes-Benz Restaurant Awards. And joining us this morning to, fan to tantalise our taste buds are two of the judges, none other than Eat Out's esteemed editor, Abigail Donnelly, and celeb chef Siba Mtongana. Good morning, ladies. Morning, Kat. How are you? Good very food. excited. Very excited. <laughs> not, not nervous moving forward to, to, the, to the event on Sunday. Always a little nervous. It's good to be nervous, but there's so much action going on in the office at the moment. I can only imagine. And of course at Mystico, where we're having the eat out restaurant. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's, it's being loaded in. The chefs have been cooking. Um, the cars are going to, beautiful Mercedes-Benz cars are going to arrive mm. on Saturday. We're busy doing the seating plans. It's, it's the most exciting time of the year. Yeah, of course, this is the most prestigious award of its kind in the industry, in the restaurant industry. So what can we expect from this year's event? Last year was absolutely spectacular. <laughs> I think we can expect the glitz and the glam and everything that we've had in the previous years. But what has changed mainly is that it's now going to be on Sunday mm -hmm. and it's going to be a lunch. But it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Now, of course, historically, the awards also consist of multiple categories. Are there any changes to the categories that you've imp implemented as judges this year? No, not this year. Um, there is something that we will announce, something really special going forward, that we're going to work very closely with <laughs> collaboration. <laughs> There's not no way we're getting that out of her. <laughs> so something we're really going to announce, it will be a new award, and it's, it's going to be something, it's a goal that I've wanted for a long time, um, but we just need to align ourselves with the right person and the right um, association to assist us with mm -hmm. it, because it's a really important award. Now, speaking of very important awards on the night, the one that has everyone sitting on the edge of their seats is, is the top 10 restaurants yes. in the country, right? And of course, getting to the top 20 nominees and then finally to the top 10 for you as judges must be oh. quite a hectic procedure. Uh, what can you tell me about that? Oh, it's a real emotional uh, journey. It really is because we sit down as judges this year, four judges, Benny Masakweng, um, Siba and Jackie Cameron and myself, we sit down and we every year and we kind of look at Who's making a difference? First, who's uh, uh, meeting our criteria, okay. which the restaurant and the chef has to have, have been at that establishment in November to November. Okay. So full year, full which year. is fair. Mm -hmm. And then we see the chefs that are changing. You know, last year we had an amazing um, change up. So a lot of the, the restaurants didn't make the criteria. So this year they have. So they it's it's close it's it's point by point on that scorecard wow. it has been really hard it, <laughs> it was so fascinating for me because obviously it's my first time mm -hmm. and having to eat out in disguise <laughs> oh you went in disguise no in disguise. What, what did sometimes, you go as sometimes sometimes i'll go as myself sometimes i'll go as brian brian will have my husband brian will have to make the booking sometimes my assistant will have to make the booking because we didn't have to be obvious okay yes uh, but at the same time we saw most of them i was myself otherwise it would have been overly oh, obvious obviously. if i'm not myself all the time exactly but we have ate the most wonderful food. The country has so much to offer. Wow. And it really has been amazing. And it's actually quite exciting to see um, to see what the top 10 restaurants are all about in the country and being part of the judging panel. Mm -hmm. it, we, in the judging, the final day, do you remember? We literally fought. I'll never forget. <laughs> but no. I've healthy discussions. Healthy just discussions. Yeah, I did, I did, you, did you at least have, have, have reference I plates to just go back to memory? But like, no, this was so good. No, every we have, bite. We have yes. every menu. Every menu we have um, in our files. We have photographs. And we have memories. Yeah. And for me, that's... A, a, a brilliant restaurant for me is about the memory. I can, mm, I true. can, me yeah, I can memorize everything that I had at wow. at the restaurants that absolutely shone, and I'll remember those for years. So and, not only the, and the food experience, me, but the, the memory that goes yeah, along with it. and that that's too. the emotional detail for me. Is yeah. that you know that flavor is is the emotional part of a plate. Yeah. Um, and when we, when obviously on the scorecard, there's there's many criteria mm -hmm. from the time you book to the restaurant to the time you leave, how you've been cared for. But for me, it's about consistency mm. and flavour. And f consistency, flavour can never be consistent. Yes. It's about yes. pushing those boundaries, and it's about balance and texture and just. Yeah. And Beautiful speaking money. about yes, and speaking <laughs> yeah. about flavour not being consistent, I know that the the team at Foliage and Friendship did yes. something rather unique with the approach they have to yeah. to their menu, yeah. and I guess that's what led to them being part of the nominees list. Absolutely, right? and it's also about storytelling, and it's also about understanding what the chef's philosophy, what he wants to translate on the plate, mm -hmm. you know, and that's and yeah, and it's about ooing and wowing, you know, really. 
you know, even if a customer, and these are fine dining restaurants, you know, it's, you know, sometimes, you know, they, they are expensive, but I mean, it's yeah. also about value for money as well. Yeah. I mean, how do you judge value for money? Because it's not about being cheap at yes. all. Mm. Um, so it's all those kind of things that we look at. So it's, straight question, who's going to be in the top 10? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 um, and to keep that secret yeah. in is is just yeah. But and that's the best part of the night is to <laughs> the rest of the, celebrate this. And the rest of the country will have, will be able to find out when the magazine goes on sale, yes. which is on Monday. It's on Monday. Yes. We're going to release it obviously to everybody who's at the awards. Mm -hmm. If you can't be at the awards, although there are a few tickets left, yeah. I mean it really is just an amazing event to and go to. And of course on Twitter as well. Keep Absolutely. Up yes. at at eat out. Out. Ladies, eat thank out. you very very much. Good luck for Sunday. We'll see you thank there. Thank you. We'll see I'll you there. I'll have a touch of pink in my pocket sweat. Of course, our very own Zola will be attending the awards on Sunday and we'll report back on Monday with the full story of who ate what and which restaurants took the accolades as SA's best. So don't miss out on that on Monday morning. Zola or Zoe, over to you.